A knit neckband creates a really professional finish on tops and dresses and it's such a great skill to master in your sewing. In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to sew a knit neckband so you can create really beautiful handmade garments. I'm using my Naya t-shirt pattern to demonstrate this, but whatever pattern you're using, make sure that the shoulder seams are already sewn and there's just a front and back. Remember to use a stretch stitch like an overlocker or a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. Now we're going to sew the neckband closed. With right sides together, I align the short edge and sew along. I normally like to use a matching thread color, but for this video, I'm just using an obvious color like black. Next, we fold the neckband in half and make sure that wrong sides are together. And we're gonna press this flat At this point, I like to place the seam of the neckband on one side and then mark a notch on the other side to find the center front. You'll want to make sure that the center front and the center back is also notched on your top because this will help us align the neckband. With right sides together and raw edges aligned, we're going to align the neckband with the front and back neckline. I like to start with the neckband seam aligned with the center back notch and then pin the center fronts together. Stretch the neckband to fit and pin along. I also like to use clips instead of pins because I find it much easier to handle when you're sewing with knit fabric. Next, we're going to sew the entire neckband edge closed. I always like to start a few inches from the center back to create less bulk, and it'll make it easier to feed it through the machine. This is what the finished neckband looks like. It's really nice and neat. All we have to do now is flip the neckband up and press. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to sew a knit neckband. It really is so much easier than you think. And personally, I find using an overlocker gives the best finish. You can find my Naya t-shirt pattern that I use in this video and that I'm wearing right now on my website and I've linked that down below. I'll see you in the next one.